all my boys and girls on fire. My royal priest. It sure has been amazing learning about who God is and how majestic he is, right? Good job, guys. God is so big and so powerful. Do you agree with me? Good job. Last week, we learned about who God is. And I am sure while learning, you had a good time and fun time learning about him, right? Yes. Can anybody tell me what we're going to be talking about today? Can you guess? It's okay if you don't know what you're talking about, but I can assure you that you're going to have a great time in this present. But before then, let's go worship this King of Kings together because he alone is worthy of our praise.
My boys and girls on fire. I want us to play a game together today. Let's call the game The Prize is Right. And in this game, you're all my contestants. All you have to do is to tell me the cost of the item I'll be showing you. So, 
I bought a packet of cookies and on the back of these cookies has the tag with the price of the cookies. Let's see how close you can get without going over the price of the cookies. Are you ready? Are you ready to play this game with me? Great! If you think the price of these cookies is more than 1,000 Naira, raise your hand. Did you raise your hand? If you did, you are out of the game because the price of the cookies is not more than 1,000 Naira. If you think the price of these cookies is less than 500 Naira, raise your hand. No! If you raise your hand, you are out of the game because the price of the cookies is not less than 500 Naira. If you think the price of these cookies is more than 600 Naira, raise your hand. Did you raise your hand? Yes, you are still in the game because the price of these cookies is more than 600 Naira. Next, I'm going to be calling out some prices, the actual price of the cookies. So I need you to tell me the actual price of the cookies. If you think the actual price of the cookies is 600 Naira, raise your hand. No, you are out of the game. This cookies is not 600 Naira. If you think the actual price of these cookies is 599 Naira, raise your hand. No, you are out of the game. The actual price of the cookies is not 599 Naira. If you think the actual price of these cookies is 800 Naira, raise your hand. No, the actual price of the cookies is not 800 Naira. If you think the actual price of these cookies is 850 Naira, raise your hand. Did you raise your hand? Yes, you are correct. The actual price of the cookies is 850 Naira. Mm. Mm. This cookie is, is so yummy. It's really nice. But 850 naira. That's a lot of money to buy a pack of cookies. Does it worth it? Do you think I should spend 850 naira just for a pack of cookies. Perhaps there's another cookie as good as this for less money. Yet another might not be as good as this and cost so much more. Do you agree with me? Every day we need to choose to value things. We also need to choose to do the right things every time and also unpopular things over wrong and popular things. Can you give me examples of wrong and popular things? Okay, I'll go first. Then you also tell me some examples like singing and dancing to worldly songs. So I'm listening to your examples. I'm listening. Great. As royal priests, we should always live a good life. We should do the right things at all times. Yes, the right things might be very difficult and the right things might not be popular. For example, choosing to value your time with God every day rather than waking up to food or thinking of drinks or what to do. Can you give an example of right and unpopular things? Great. All of this reminds me of something. Something very important. 
something of great value, something more important than anything else. Yes, it's more important than anything else. Can you tell me what that thing is? It's the kingdom of God. But wait a minute. What is the kingdom of God? Where is the kingdom of God? The kingdom of God is not a matter of food or drink, but it is living a life of goodness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. You know, Jesus chose a parable to teach us about what the kingdom of God is like. Before we move on, what is a parable? Do you know? Okay, I'm going to tell you. A parable is just a simple story that helps us understand a moral or Christian lesson. This particular parable talks about the mystery treasure and the pearl. Are you ready to unravel with me? Are you ready to find the mystery treasure with me? Are you ready? My boys and girls on fire, I need you to sit down, pay ramped attention as we unravel together. Yes! God is ever present in our lives, but unless we are looking, we won't realize that he's always with us. He asks that we seek him, meaning he expects that we go in search of him. With our ordinary eyes, we can't see him. But if we search him and seek him with all our hearts, then we will find him. Our memory verse reminds us that we must always seek God, his kingdom, and his righteousness. Then everything we ever want will be given to us. We will get whatever we want, right? Isn't that great? Fantastic. Now I want you to jump on your feet and let's recite our memory verse together. Are you ready? My boys and girls on fire. Matthew chapter six, verse 33. Matthew chapter six, verse 33. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. That was quite easy, right? Can we say that again? Are you ready? Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Can I say that one more time? Just one more time. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. Now can we say this using our hand motions? Who is ready to do this with me? Who is ready? All right, let's go. Don't forget our hand motions. <laughs> all right now. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. Matthew Chapter 6, verse 33. Seek first. Can we do that again? Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things will be added to you. <laughs> that was easy now. Can we do it again? Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Now let's do it one last time, and then we can go, right? Are you ready? All right. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Seek First, the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. Great job, guys. Do me a favor. 
keep practicing until I see you next week. Bye. The great reveal is getting closer and closer. Now let's see for ourselves from the Bible exactly how Jesus said this parable and what he was trying to describe using this same parable. Do you want to find out with me? Good! Now, open your Bibles with me to the book of Matthew. Matthew can be found in the New Testament. This is the first book in the New Testament. Are you ready? Now, let's go to chapter 13, verses 44 to 46. Was it hard finding this part of the Bible? Fantastic! Come on, let's read along together. The kingdom of heaven is like treasure that was hidden in a field. When a man found it, he hid it again. He was very happy, so he went and sold everything he had. And he bought that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a trader who was looking for fine pearl. He found one that was very valuable, so he went away and sold everything he had, and he bought that pearl. Treasures are something of what? Something very valuable. And because they are valuable and priceless, you definitely don't get to see them just anywhere or stumble on it when walking down the road. From our Bible reading, Jesus described the kingdom of God as a hidden treasure. He also likened it to a very valuable pair. We know what a parable means, and we know that the kingdom of God is not a physical place. And it is also not a matter of what we eat or drink, but of living a life of goodness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, glory to God in the highest. So where exactly is the kingdom of God? Can you guess? The kingdom of God is within you and everywhere you go. Isn't that awesome? That means that everywhere you go, you carry God's goodness, kindness, and joy. And it also means that you fulfill God's agenda here on earth. And his agenda is heaven on earth. The kingdom of God is so valuable and precious that you have to give it all your priority. Our Bible reading and memory verse for today emphasizes that. Do you remember the fourth line of the Lord's Prayer? Can anyone tell me? It says, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And that is God's agenda. And as royal priest that carries the kingdom of God on our inside, our core responsibility is to make sure that God's kingdom is established here on earth as it is in heaven. Doing God's will is our priority. We have to make sure we do things that would make him happy at all times. We must make God's business our business. Doing God's will has to be our priority. We have to ensure we do things that make him happy always. And we must decide to make his business our business. His business is his agenda. His will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We all have a part to play in this great agenda because the treasure of knowing God is not available to everyone. His kingdom is hidden and God wants us to discover and experience his treasure so that we can share it to everyone around us. Is it going to be a walk in the park? Definitely not. It requires a lot of commitment and dedication from us. And it also requires that we ask for help from the Holy Spirit. I need you to really think about it. What are those challenges you face with daily? And what are those things you do that you shouldn't do? Or those words you say that you shouldn't say? And as children of God, you know you shouldn't be caught doing such things. Think about it. I know it's a lot to think about, and I'm here to help you. I will teach you an acronym we used when I was way younger, and it is WWJD. What would Jesus do? So when your friends ask you to cheat in school, what should come to your mind? W-W-J-D. Would Jesus cheat? Jesus wouldn't cheat, so you shouldn't. Would Jesus lie? 
Would Jesus take things that doesn't belong to him without seeking for permission? Would Jesus be rude? Would Jesus steal? Jesus wouldn't do any of such. And so you shouldn't be caught doing such. I need you to always remember that you need the help of the Holy Spirit to stand firm and you carry the kingdom of God in you. To do this effortlessly, you must be willing and ready to put God first in all that you do. Pray at all times, study the word of God, learn your memory verses, and always sing worship songs to him. When you do this, you'll be amazed at how much impact you've made here on earth for God and how easy it is to fulfilling God's agenda here on earth. And ultimately, your lives become better and better always. Are you ready to make this commitment? Are you sure? And are you ready to make God's business your business? Now, I need to get your pen and paper and write down how you intend to make God's business your business. I need to give it a very deep thought and I'll be right back.
Are you done? Awesome. I am so proud of you all. And I'm sure God is proud of you all. Now, the kingdom of God is so valuable and precious and you need to guard it with all your hearts because it is a priceless hell. Now rise up on your feet and let us pray. God, we are committed to you and you are committed to your kingdom. Help us, Jesus. We want to make your agenda our priority. All around us, at all times, we declare heaven on earth. As you go into this week, my boys and girls on fire, always remember, WWJD, what would Jesus do? Wow, I'm sure you've been having an amazing learning experience, boys and girls of fire. Don't you think so? I'm sure you do. Now get to our eight activity time. You know, when you see me, it's the fun time, isn't it? Yes. Now you can see I have some items in front of me. So I want you to, can you guess what they are? Nah, I'll tell you. So I have some plastic balls here in front of me, and I have some raw rice right here in front of me, and I have two jars. So I'm gonna tell you what each of them represent. So the balls represent the things that God would have us do, right? The raw rice represents things that you and I love doing. And then we have the jars, we represent the world, right? Yes, so now let's list out some of the things that God would have us do. Let's say praying, did you say praying? Yes, how about reading your Bible? Yes, being kind to everyone around you? Yes, giving, do not be stingy, share, right? Yes, and so many others, right? Okay, so I'm gonna put back those things that God will have us do. Now, I want us to list some of the things that we enjoy doing. Can you name like seven to 10 of them? Watching movies, let's just do the grains of rice as we name that. Watching movies, playing games, uh, reading books. Do you like reading your books? Yes, amazing. And so many other things, right? And now this is the world. So now let's get into the activity. So first, let's just say, I decide to do all the things that I enjoy doing, all the things you enjoy doing. Like we said, watching movies, let's fill up the world with that. Watching movies, reading books, playing video games, playing with our toys. Wow, that's quite a lot of things you enjoy doing. I hope you are listing them with me, right? Great. So yes, we have listed all these things and we filled the world with that. Mm, I can see that we still have some space. Let's see. You see that we still have some space? Now let's put some of the things that God would have us do. But first, let me just remove this so we have some space to drop our balls, right? Yes. So, praying, being kind, reading your Bible, taking care of your younger ones, telling the truth. Oops. Wow, we've run out of space. Uh, so we couldn't really put a lot of things inside. And I think, what do you think happened here? We put all the things that we enjoy doing first before we put God in. Hmm, that's a problem right there, don't you think so? So now, this time around, let's put some of the things that God loves us doing first, right? Can we do that? Okay, now, let's remove this funnel because we don't need that right now, okay? So, reading your Bible, saying your prayers, having joy all the time, praising. Can you tell me something else? Oh, being kind, yes, the fruit of the Spirit. We need to have a lot of that. Joy always. Respect your mom and dad. Love your neighbor as yourself. So many other things. Let's just put, you know, all those things that God loves us doing, yeah? Wow, we can see there's a lot of space. Now let's see, we've put a lot of God in here now. Now let's see what's gonna happen when we put the things that we enjoy doing, okay? So I'm gonna put my funnel now, just to help me with the rice, okay? Okay. Yeah, that will do. 
So now let's say what are the things we love doing? We already said it, movies, playing games, play with our toys. Wow, it's going in boys and girls, playing our toys. Going to the park. Wow, it's filling up. Wow, amazing. Can you see that? Wow. Can you see that we get to achieve so many things when we put God first? Now take a look. Can you see that they're different? This is when you put your needs first and when we put God second or last, you see that you can't put a lot of things in. Even all yours still can't feel. But when you put God first, there's more than enough time and space for the things that you want. And you see, you get to fulfill God's agenda on earth. So are we ready for heaven on earth, boys and girls on fire? Because that is what God will have us do. So this week, I want you to ensure that you put God first. Because with God, you can do all things. I love you. Have an amazing week.